our heaviest canvassing and door knocking is happening in June, July, and August, um, which are all the months in New York that get 90 plus degree days. Hello, Angel. Como esta? Yo me llamo Amanda Septimo. Yo soy su vecina. I'm your neighbor. I live in 640. I'm running in the election. I am running against an incumbent who's been there for nearly 25 years now. I think especially right now, we're living in a, in a time where people have these watershed moments, young women especially, it feels like, where they say, you know, I saw my representative vote for this. I wish I had some like big, exciting story to say, that was the moment that I knew. But that's never really been my story. It wasn't the 2016 election. It wasn't some other impetus. I think for me, it's always been this consistent, Built up of watching policies and programs fail for our communities. You want to be mindful to always kind of look put together and responsible, but approachable and all those balances that women have to deal with. Being a woman is treated like a liability in politics, but for me, it's not something that I want to run away from or that I could if I tried. You know, I'd love to think that I'm this incredibly unique, talented, smart, zesty unicorn, but the fact of the matter is there's a million girls in the South Bronx just like me who just need that same access to opportunity. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Okay. Muchas gracias. Okay, me voy a trabajar. Ya, tú sabes que ya faltan 29 días. 29 días en lo que falta hasta la elección. Hi, viene una elección en un mes. Hi, I'm running for state assembly in the area. My name is Amanda. Please vote in a month. Okay. So right now we're going to the subway, we're gonna to talk to people, we're gonna be doing trivia, um, and we'll give away Metro cards to people who are able to answer some of our questions. The MTA just ruled that there would be no fair hikes for the next five years. Ooh. NYCHA recently made a change in policy, and they banned which of the following? Last question, do you know the assembly person in this area? Do you know who she is? Uh, Okay, well, that's okay. My name's Amanda Septimo. I'm running in this area, the election September 13th. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dexter. <laughs> I live next door to the house that I grew up in. Um, my parents hightailed out of the city when I went to college, but I moved back to my street. Do you live here? I live in the next building. Ah, okay. My name is Amanda. We've never met before. I'm running for a state assembly in the area. Okay. Um, we're also neighbors. I live at 640. I've been wanting to put down permanent roots on my street because this is where I want to live, it's where I want to have a family, um, but all of the houses on my street are starting at half a million dollars. But we're the poorest congressional district in the country. The message that it sends to our community is that there is a future that doesn't include me. People say, don't take politics personally. It's impossible for me to understand that, actually, and that does feel really personal. You know, maybe I've got it wrong, um, but really, I think everybody else does. This is a tough answer. Here we go. I'm being a truth teller. I think that the progressive movement is rooted in outrage in that you get one story that blows and people say, okay, we're going to focus in on this and we're going to support this policy, this candidate, this effort. If you're not thinking about generational poverty, if you're not thinking about long-term health impact, if you're not thinking about how failing schools impact your ability to earn over a lifetime, then you are naturally not thinking about places like the South Bronx. I'm excited to bring another voice to the progressive movement and say, hey, there's an entire world of people that we're ignoring. There should have been outrage a long time ago. One of the, the biggest misconceptions is that because we're in this moment where it's very a la mode to talk about women running for office, but when you're in, you sometimes find yourself by yourself out there, and it's hard, it's very, very difficult. You go through those doubts and you talk yourself through them. Um, and But I also think that a lot of it is remembering that it's just that doubt. It's just a reminder that I'm doing this because this is what I was put here to do.